delighted to be here today with uh, Mr. Sanjay Sharma. Sanjay is uh, the founder of, co-founder of uh, iFinance. And uh, today as we speak to him, we will really understand his journey of building the startup iFinance along with, uh, you know, how they have managed to make so much headway in such a short time. So welcome Sanjay. Thank you Ritu. Uh, I'm happy to be uh, in this conversation. Love to start with how the name came to happen. I finance is such an unusual name for a NBFC for a you know financing lending company. So how how did the name came to be born? I is a very unusual name, and there's a very interesting story behind that. When we started, we thought that uh, we wanted a short syllable name because our customer is a typical micro enterprise uh, owner who's not very uh, educated and therefore uh, a simpler name would have been better. And we looked for uh, single and double syllable names and I uh, appeal to most of us because I has a positive connotation. In, in, in English it obviously means yes, but also in Hindi it means income, which is exactly the place where we wanted to, uh, to play. Uh, I also in many regional languages means mother. So it was a great name to start with. But uh, another uh, anecdotal information that when we started going to our customers, initially in those uh, clusters, uh, with the lanyard saying I, I finance, people started downing the shutters because they thought it was a raid from the income tax <laughs> department. You know, so I can also mean I uh, department. And uh, gradually, I think uh, the the ice broke and uh, people realized that we were there to provide them funds which they desperately needed. So it's all all worked out well for us. That's something that uh, I would say started uh, almost 10, 15 years back. And I always wanted to uh, end my career uh, by doing something which was socially relevant. Uh, I came back from my last uh, job, which was in uh, UAE, Dubai, setting up a very large housing finance company. And I, I then said that I would now like to work on the social side. Uh, I worked for a year in Ujjivan, which is a microfinance company. And then I decided that uh, just like the poor individual at the bottom of the pyramid needed to be supported. Similarly, there were micro enterprises that needed support as well. Uh, I was joined by, uh, by Vikram uh, in this journey, who's my co-founder, and we went and met 350 micro enterprises in five different uh, towns around Delhi. And uh, we spoke to them. Uh, every interview took almost an hour. So there was a lot of effort that was put in because uh, lending to micro enterprise so far has uh, been an area where uh, most most companies have not uh, made too much of inroads in, into. So we went and we looked around and then we finally realized that a lot of challenges like uh, no documentation, no typical uh, income tax return or uh, balance sheet or P&L, lack of uh, credit bureau information because there's no prior credit lending, all these problems can be solved if one looks at uh, understanding the type of business they are in or uh, or the cluster based uh, lending which we do. Sure. Uh, we realize that there are patterns in every type of uh, mm -hmm. business. Right. And if you understand those patterns in a cluster, you can actually do better cash underwriting. And that was the starting point. And that got us thinking about getting into this space. And clearly the thought was that we wanted to work in a social space, create social impact. And that's why you could probably say that it started so late because uh, most of the new startups are more into solving uh, key problem in the commercial world, whereas this is a problem in the social side that is being solved. Right. A lot of financial modeling is what sets us apart. Uh, we have propensity models for understanding that uh, when is the customer likely to default. If the customer defaults, what's the prob probability that it will lead to a loss? And uh, these are not simple uh, statistical models alone. There are, uh, there are artificial intelligence models, machine learning systems, which pick up a variety of data. It, data could be the uh, state that you're from. Uh, it could be the industry that you come from. It could be the seasonality of that business. So a lot of points are picked up and the machine learning model can tell you that this is the predicted uh, default. Default is one of the most obvious ways a uh, lender can benefit. Origination, it plays a big role. Uh, repeat loans, we have, uh, when customer comes up for a repeat loan, we don't put him through the same hassle of collecting information on him. Uh, we can use a machine model which can categorize customers into uh, very low risk, 
medium risk and high risk. Right. And then we can decide on how much to lend to that customer. So the repeat process is where the beauty of this whole uh, underwriting engine comes to fore. Uh, customers are often given a pre-approved loan. Uh, some of the customers ask some very basic questions before loans are given uh, because they are a repeat customer. The customer does not have too much of investment in capital uh, equipment. Uh, so loans tend to be small in size. Average ticket of the loan is 1.25 lakhs. So most of our loans would be in the 1 lakh, 2 lakh sort of uh, uh, range. What do they typically need it for? Uh, they need is, uh, as I mentioned, for working capital. And uh, it could be a person who, let's say, is manufacturing uh, garments. And he needs uh, that money for uh, buying the uh, raw materials, paying the wages of their employees uh, till, the, till they sell the products and get the cash back. Uh, we find that for these customers, a shorter tenor loan is better because it brings them better credit discipline. Uh, so tenors typically range between one year to two years. Some of the larger loans could have longer tenors, but on a weighted basis, our tenors are uh, around 19, 20 months. Uh, this also ensures that when the season comes, the customer has more or less repaid his loan and can take a new loan uh, at the start of his business season. Sure. We also find that uh, the delinquency on these loans, because uh, the amounts are small, tend to be very low. And uh, we have had a very good experience over the last uh, six years in terms of seeing the NPAs stay very stable. Mm. Uh, for these customers, uh, I think uh, the repayment is important because that's how they get their uh, repeat loans. And uh, I think repeat loan brings in a win-win for everyone because they, they can take a larger loan and uh, we have a great history now to work on. There are days in the life of an entrepreneur which are very lonely days. You know, it's like days or weeks that you really just, uh, you and your co-founders uh, have to get together and say, no, this is all, we'll turn it around. Right. Uh, and I think it's your uh, sheer confidence and commitment uh, that sees you three, through on those days. We've seen some early uh, challenges uh, while uh, on the commercial side, let me uh, use the example of uh, demonetization. We were hardly uh, into a third year when demonetization happened. Demonetization impacts our customers in a much, much larger way than anyone else because all our customers transact primarily in cash. Correct. Now, if the cash was to be sucked out of the economy, uh, a lot of businesses stayed closed for quite some time. In fact, uh, there were uh, the garment uh, manufacturing sect, uh, cluster in Gandhinagar here in Delhi, which remained almost closed for for two months. Yeah. And uh, for these customers, they don't have very large amount of savings to tied them over. Mm. We had a quick uh, discussion and we realized that rather than tell the customers not to pay for some time, we reduce the installment to one third. Okay. And we said that let them pay the one third installment for the next three months and the two installments that will remain arrears will pick it up right in the end of the loan. Right. Uh, so these are sort of things that one has to look at in a typical banking or a finance environment. Uh, Changing the installment would have been a, uh, something that people would not have uh, liked to do. Uh, here we understood the customer and we did that. And because of that, while most of the MFI industry and a lot of NBFCs went into double digit uh, default in their NPA levels, our NPA levels never crossed 2.7%. Mm. And I think uh, this shows that you know, there can be difficulties, but uh, there are solutions also available. So I think life goes on. Uh, being an entrepreneur is not an easy job. I think being in a job is a, is an easy thing. <laughs> right. But uh, I think the rewards are phenomenal. When things do work, it gives you a lot of uh, satisfaction that uh, you can see your idea taking shape. In uh, six years, we have now 120,000 customers. Uh, a lot of people, when I even go to the government uh, forums, realize that it's a very large number con considering uh, what uh, other programs have achieved. Right. And that's a, that's a big satisfaction for me. I am a complete believer that uh, you've got to keep bettering yourself. You can't just say that, you know, this is enough and we are doing well. I finance has done very well in the market and uh, we today seen in terms of many parameters as one of the leaders in, in, our, in our place. 
uh, and yet uh, we are not happy with where we are, we want to do better. And uh, I think that is essential to be a little paranoid about what you're doing. When we started, we always used to say that, you know, that the next competitor is going to be just six months away from us. Today, fortunately, some of the competitors are more than two or three years away from us. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've got to keep improving. Right. And uh, I think the way to look at it is that uh, whenever you look at a problem, uh, you find an immediate solution for the problem, but look at what the long-term better solution is. We are very fortunate, uh, Ritu, that we are in an environment where there's so much of digital infrastructure available. The uh, India Pack, the JAM uh, um, network, etc. is a huge opportunity, I feel. I, I wish I had seen this opportunity when I was in my 30s, mm -hmm. but uh, still it is available and I think uh, that is a huge opportunity which India should leverage. We are beginning to leverage that. A lot of our uh, KYC related uh, checking, checking of credit, credit bureau is all online. Right. So I think one has to keep thinking of newer ways to help your customer and that is how the business uh, flourishes. Liked the video? Then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Entrepreneur India. Hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos.